So think we're close. We are now live on Wade's Ventures YouTube channel. What's going on, guys? Let me say hello to some people in chat so we can get started today. This is Tuesday, 2018, and um, we have a fantastic show. I've been chasing this man down for a while, trying to get him live. Finally, got him live, and uh, you guys, it's going to be some. It's going to be a different show, but the same show. You guys will understand. So let me say hello to some people in chat. Then we'll get started. What's going on, Thrifty Santa Barry? We got Beth, Gina, Lisa is in the house. What's going on, Lisa? Uh, we have Andre. You're in the house. I, you have a different avatar on here, so I I got to get used to that. Linda, what's going on? What's going on, Rita? What's going on, Fine Sandy? What's going on, the Clutter Guy? What's going on, guys? Go check out his YouTube channel. What's going on, Picker? How are you? Relic, good, I like the name. Thrifty Dad, what's going on? What's going on? Exclusive, I like the. Whew, man, you guys are looking good in your new avatar. I like that. Um, guys, if you have not seen yesterday's show, if you've got a YouTube channel, it was all about YouTube channels. So, all right, guys. So, long story short, if you're new to this channel, appreciate you subscribing. So, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. We invite really cool people on this channel. People that don't need to be big on social media. They don't even have to have one subscriber, but we want to uncover really cool gems in our community that resell on eBay, um, Amazon. And today we have a good one. Today we have a good one. I'm going to pass the mic over to my man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Mr. Albert Lopez. What's happening, guys? I'm right here at Wage Ventures Channel. Thanks for having me. It's uh, really cool to be here. Uh, I reside in Southern California, and like the rest of you, I love buying and selling predominantly on the internet, but I also do some local sales as well. Um, by the way, I so guys, I, let me know in chat if you're already following Mr. Albert Lopez, because he has got an amazing uh, Instagram channel and YouTube channel, so I... I've been binge watching him for a while. You guys may be following him because I gave him a couple shout outs because I really like his shirt of the day. And you'll talk a little bit about that. But basically, he goes over his shirt every single day, guys. And if you want to learn about vintage or even non vintage t shirts, I highly recommend you follow him. Albert, tell us a little bit about your shirt of the day. All right. Well, first of all, thanks for the intro. Uh, Mr. Shirt of the Day started uh, a while ago, and really it's just to create a culture, it's to create a following. I like connecting with with uh, with people that like this kind of clothing, you know, and, and the things that I kind of that I share with them is kind of following the name of of my store, which is vintage and not meaning I carry vintage uh, items and also non vintage items. But just the way you can mix them up together into a wardrobe and kind of expand your wardrobe and have some cool stuff where sometimes we get uh, I know I was like that many years ago where I'd get stuck with my five shirts or my seven shirts and I wouldn't leave those seven shirts. So I'm trying to bring uh, a level of awareness where there's a lot of pre owned clothes and we'll get into that topic in just a little bit. And I just started, I guess, just like a show and tell, you know, and showing people the different kinds of, of, of uh, shirts. I would call it shirt of the day, but every now and again, I'm bringing a towel, you know, or a hat or something, you know. It's just it, it's it's just the show and tell to let people know what's out there, what you could add to your wardrobe to break it up a little bit and kind of match the theme and match your style. And you could even be very unique with an old shirt or be very unique even with a new shirt. And guys, um, I just put out his YouTube channel. So if you go down his YouTube channel, you'll notice he does the shirt of the day on there as well. And I, what I respect about you is you kind of have like a show going, like you have a following people that want to see what the next shirt is for this, for today. And Damn. I'm the same way. And uh, so guys, if you subscribe to his YouTube channel, let me know so I can give you a shout out. Gina is number 105. We got him over a hundred. All right. We're over a hundred. Very 103. All right, guys. I'll put his uh, link in, in the, the chat. So what we're doing tonight is we're going to do the same show, but we are going to go over some vintage shirts. And uh, he'll go over kind of the detailing of it and all that good stuff so you guys can know what to look out for when you're out there thrifting. And uh, vintage shirts can bring a lot of money. Like, for example, today I sold a um, uh, Indiana Jones uh, Disney shirt, and it's way vintage. And uh, we sold it for 49 bucks. Very good. Very good. So you can yeah, you can you can bring some money with shirts. So 
Albert, tell me a little bit before we before we show these shirts, before we do this haul video, tell me a little bit about you, my man. Like I want to know how did you get started reselling online? Well, it was actually, um, I'm big on my family. I got two kids. Uh, actually, if you don't mind, I'm going to shout out the studio I'm using tonight. Um, shout out my daughter. Her name is uh, at Lindsay Starbeast. That's what it actually says on her birth certificate. It's at the at sign, Lindsay Starbeast. That's her real name. Wow. Just, anyways, um, she's, uh, she's actually an influencer here on, uh, we're on YouTube, right? Yeah, we're on YouTube. She's also on Instagram. Uh, so if you want to go give her a follow, she's into skincare, beauty. Uh, so shout out to at Lindsay Starbies for letting me look, use her studio tonight, being that her computer already has the camera set up and on PC and she's on a Mac. So I kind of feel weird here in front of a computer with no right click. So but we're getting it done. So shout out. To her. If you don't mind, go shoot her a quick DM saying, hey, thanks for letting your dad use your studio today. Appreciate that. But anyways, in relation to talking about my kids, I used to be in an industry for about 20 years that required me to be uh, busy working, whether it was mentally or physically on the weekends. So that worked in the course of my daughter growing up. She's 21. And it was cool to be out on the weekends if I needed to work because I could spend time with her during the week. Then came my son. And I know you have a little one as well. So congratulations on, on your family. Um, my son's now 15, but he was seven at one time and he got involved with a lot of sports. So that's when I started thinking, okay, time to change businesses and get a business that doesn't require my weekends to get tied up with work. So I, I could focus on his uh, sports activities that predominantly take care, uh, take place on the weekends. So that's really kind of how it started. I started asking my network, started asking friends. I always knew there was something on the internet. And what I mean by that is when the internet was born, um, it was always fascinated and I've always used it even with my other businesses. I always, um, from dial up email from when YouTube started, I had videos on there in the industry I was in and it was always something that just like, wow, I knew this was something beautiful and big. And once I decided to look for something different is when, uh, I guess resale, we'll call it resale, right? You know, um, buying and selling on the internet became a possibility. And then that's when it started. That's usually how it started. I'm not usually, I should say, that's why it started. So you, it's interesting here. So the, now tell me like, uh, first of all, mm -hmm. first of all, I think your daughter's name is amazing. Um, <laughs> and, and I want to tell you too, like, I've been a big fan. Like when my kids grow up, I'm going to actually like, you know, responsibly show them how to be on, um, how to be on social media. Cause I think that's kind of the way things are going now. Like I can talk to you all across the, you know, you're in California, but you know, I can talk to anybody across the United States from my house and um, network with people. I think social media is cool and your daughter's doing it. That's amazing. And the beauty area is big. So that's awesome. And, uh, and you, so kind of basically you started reselling so you can spend more time with family, which is a big common theme, right? Exactly. Now, exactly. exactly what, what had happened. And it's funny because my going the opposite way of the generation, my father who was in town, he's the one that just, I don't know if he did it consciously or unconsciously, but he's the one that said, the window of your son playing youth sports is a small window. And eventually he's going to be an adult. If you don't take advantage of that small window and spend as much time as you can in those games, you're going to miss out on a lot of games and then regret it because you're not going to be able to go back. That was the best thing that you've ever said to me in regards to suggestions or advice with my family because oh, I was so grateful I did. Because Now I look back and he's not seven, right? The sports is, is different now. And I would have regretted so much if I wouldn't have seen those special moments. How, what how, is your dad a pretty big influence on you? He is in his work ethic. We do have a lot of things where we're opposite, but I think I've grabbed the things that were common and ran with them. And then he respects the opposites that we have, which is pretty cool. You have a pretty wise dad. And let me know in chat, guys. Like I, I was, um, I was like, that meant a lot to me. What you just said. Um, 
I've actually never heard of that before. And it means like, literally like that's the reason I do this is so I can spend more time with family. Sure. Um, you know, I, I made really good money in my last job. You know, I sh shared my W two, like, you know, it was close to 150 K or more one, you know, uh, what 2017. So, um, it is like, you know, I left a good job, but this is so much better because now I can spend a lot more time with friends and family. Sure. And, um, mm -hmm. so I, 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 Tremendous. Like, I think that's amazing. And now do you have a wife? Do you have a, do you have a girlfriend, a fiance? All three of them put together into a wife. That's what it is. I love her to <laughs> death. Um, you can go follow her. She's at Suhe Vasquez. You can find her there as well. And then uh, shout out to my son because I know I shouted out my daughter because of the studio and then shout out to my son as well because of his athleticism and um, I guess earning uh, as I'm not big on using the word deserving, I'm used, I'm, I'm kind of focused more on earning, you know, earning the the fact that I wanted to go see him play. You know, he was working hard, he was respectful, he was doing his thing, so I wanted to go see him play. So shout out to at Cameron Lopez one number one. If you want to go shout him out, you know that would be cool as well because he helps me put all my stuff together. He works with me as well, and uh, big influence on my life because I switched my direction because of him. So yeah, to answer your question, Wade, I am married. I have a beautiful wife who works with me and it's awesome. Um, guys, what, I wonder what it's going to be like at the, uh, at the, the Lopez house over there. Like, do you guys, I've never seen a family so into social media before since you've oh, there's, cameras, there's, there's little devices, there's little devices all over the house to plug in your phone and set it up. We got cameras going. We do have certain rules. Like, uh, okay, certain things they need to ask, but other rules are, okay, these you don't need to ask. Just post. You better tag me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hey, guys, Albert, do you, uh, do you have a – so do you guys – real quick, do you guys sit – do you guys have family dinner? Now, my question is, when you do your family dinner, are you allowed to pick up your phone or not? Oh, you better pick up your phone. Absolutely. <laughs> The phone is important. I mean, when 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 I get oh nothing kind of irks me like oh I ran out of battery. It's like you're slipping. Why are you running out of battery? Where is your backup charger? That's huge to me. I forgot my phone is not allowed. I forgot my phone is not allowed. You're at the dinner table. Post something. You should be posting four to ten times a day because somebody else is. Guys, guys, come on now. You're, you're taking notes over here. Attention is king, Wade. You know this. So if, if if my kids ain't getting used to posting right now, that's the few that's the modern day. I'm not even gonna say the future. In my opinion, that's the modern day resume. Your reputation, aka your social media. So if you don't want to post what it is that you're doing, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. This is what I tell my kids. I'm not telling the viewers here. This is what I tell my kids, right? Post it, be proud of it, because it's your brand, and you're going to need that brand the rest of your life. Your competitor will probably won't have it. And if he doesn't have it, she doesn't have it. Good for you. Too bad for them. So yeah, you better get used to posting kiddos. <laughs> Guys, this is an amazing dad. You I, 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 think, <laughs> I no I'm so, I think it's amazing. I I I, I think um, you know showing your kids that it's okay to be online is really, really cool. You know, responsibly it's it's awesome. So okay. So you're in California, by the way, you still live in your Belinda, OC, California, myself. But uh, tell me, where are you thrifting these amazing shirts at? You don't have to give us your honey holes, but give me a day in the life of you when you go sourcing. Right. Well, if you look at your map, United States map, you look all the way to the left, the big telephone looking stake. And let's just cut it up into eight pieces. I'm like at the bottom part there. That's where I find all my stuff. That would be Southern California. Actually, I live close to Long Beach, Wade. I'm out here by the um, this side of town. And Orange County is a little bit more north of me, but I do go there quite a bit and hang out there a lot between there. I'm in the borderline of uh, the south as you can go of Orange County and LA County, kind of that borderline area, maybe 15, maybe about 20 minutes from the water. So 30 minutes from the water. That's kind of where I'm at. Just to give everybody kind of what they call what uh, north, uh, Southeast Long Beach. That's a bigger town. It's a little tiny town. It's a beautiful town. I love it to death. It's called Hawaiian Gardens. Now, are you, um, uh, when it comes to like the sourcing, are you, um, are you, just so we, uh, the viewers know, you're on eBay. Are you on any other platforms? I do have a, a 
accounts all over the place the standard ones i guess or the, the common ones the popular ones uh my son moves a lot of merchandise on offer up he's the beast at offer up shout out again to at cameron lopez one uh the number one he um he does a lot of items there i don't do much unless it's like kind of bulky and sometimes i'll just kind of give it to him and say here you want to move this um but really i'm using the ebay platform as kind of where i sit my i sit my um my merchandise only because their functionality is phenomenal i don't have to worry about you know tech folk uh back-end support or nothing it's always functioning and if it isn't for a little while it's no big deal i know i got some big huge very smart engineers that are going to take care of it um and i'll just sit back and pay my fees and whether i'm paying it to them or i'm paying it to somebody running my own site if my site's down, I'm not going to have millions of people telling me that my site's down. My wife may count, call me and say, hey, the, the site's down. Mm -hmm. If I have it on eBay, I know that I have a bunch of people, users, either sellers or buyers, that'll start calling 1-800 and saying, hey, the site's down. And I know they're going to get on it, and I don't have nothing to worry about. Great site. So, so uh, I do I have to have to shout out flipping, flipping here. here. Uh, <laughs> give me one second. I do have to shout out Flipping. Thank you so much for that super chat. Um, he holds the record, literally holds the record on my channel for the most super chats. And I reached out to him today on Instagram. I was like, is there anything I can do personally for you? And uh, he said he just likes to support the, the reselling community. That's awesome. I think that's amazing. Like I, I say this every single, every single uh, show, but if I can go and like give him like a virtual fist pump, well, I, I guess I can do a virtual one or, but, um, like do something for you, my man, because you've been so supportive. So um, let me know if I can do anything for you. I appreciate you and what you do for the reselling community. And and thanks. Thanks so much. It really does mean a lot. And uh, so I really appreciate you. Albert, it's amazing when people do this. Um, I wish I can give them as much love as possible. Um, well, so I don't want to chime in. And, and you know what you have, which is why I think they like to give you those super chats. I think that's awesome that they show their gratitude. First of all, they're able to. Um, and I feel, I think they just, they just feel that it's that, it's that knuckles back to you because you've been doing, you want to show you, you want to count how many fists kind of knuckles you've gave to people, go count your videos that you've done. That's how many fist knuckles you've given out to the community. And they're just every now and again, when they can, and they're able to either they send you good energy, good vibes, or they send you some, you know, some cash. That's what it is. You do a lot, man, and it takes a lot to put together these videos and simply just thinking about not just whipping out the camera and turning it on, thinking about what it is that you're going to shoot, setting it up, and that's time you're talking in front of that little black box. Is time that you could be spending a Google gogging your baby or texting your 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 wife or doing anything that you your yard whatever you know whatever you want to spend time with but you're in front of the camera so that's a lot of time and effort that you're giving out generously to the community so boom knuckles to you bro hey i, I appreciate it i appreciate those kind words wait I, I didn't tell anybody this but everybody that's been on my live show i'm working on a video um it's probably going to take about 10 hours to complete no joke but what i'm doing is i'm taking bits and pieces of all my interviews that i've done thus far and putting them all in one video guys so that okay. should be out soon and and albert you're gonna be on there my man because i'm basically all right up until this week so all right so first and foremost i think we got the lay of the land here i before we get started on the shirts i want to ask i actually wanted to message you via instagram what are you using to hang your shirts up on to do shirt of the day what like what is that behind you that right there Yes. Like, gotta what do you guess? Got to take a guess. You got to actually go on my live on Instagram and guess there. I've been live on Instagram this whole time, by the way, guys. So just shout out to everybody watching me on live. Um, take a guess. Wait, I mean, you're a pretty. I mean, shoot, you, you dumpster dive. You could probably have found one of these. I. Oh my. I. By the way, I, I struck out last time I dumpster dove, but I'm doing it next week. Three. Oh, right, guess more. Three guesses you could do out of a cannon, and then like something like hmm. Is that uh, okay? Let me let me phone a friend. Let All me right. phone a friend here. You Anybody want to phone, phone a friend? <laughs> I'm phoning a friend, guy. What do you think that is, guys? Put it in the chat. I don't see the chat, or else I upside down C stand. 
That's one. That sounds that sounds techy. I like that. C stand for California. Yeah, yeah. Microphone stand. Ooh, that right there is a sweet hit. Nailed it on that one right there. It's a microphone. Ooh, stand. That, hey, who who gave me that one? Oh, Hugo, man. Hey, Hugo's once. I don't know if it, it's him or his lady, but they are a smart couple. What? Well, okay. Hugo, I, did you have them on? I did. Yeah, that all was the, the folks, one with the rabbit. The folks, hey, Hugo, is all the folks that go to Knott's Berry Farm like every month or so? <laughs> they're hey, they're in, how many people are in California? Let me know in chat. How many people are in California? Hey, put out, put out your city in California. Come on, I'll let you know where we're at if we're close or not. And I can't see it, so you got to shout it out, Wade. Yes, I got you. I, I know that I saw. I think they were in Riverside, that couple you just mentioned. Yes, yes. Uh, yes I live about 15 minutes away from Knott's. Fun fact, from the age of 16 to 21, I worked at Knott's Berry Farm. Huh. I, I've only been once. It's been a while. Uh, Oceanside is one. Okay, there you go. That's up the way. I'm mad at you, Oceanside, off the five. Costa Mesa, I've been there. Um, Highlands Park. Where's oh, Highland? oh, nice. That's on my side over here. Highland, there you go, Highland Park. Yes, that was Hugo, by the way. Santa, oh. man, there's a lot of people in California over here. Awesome. I'm only in Oregon. Um, let's see, Santa Monica. Oh, oh, a lot of running there. Shout out to Santa Monica. My friend Joe Wired lives in Santa Monica. He's a runner. Hmm. And uh, what? Where is Thrifty Nomads from? Flower, California. Am I saying that right? Flower? Central Valley. Okay, now you're maybe going a little bit up north. By the way, I love going up north. Anybody in SF? I love going to San Francisco. I go there once a year. Well, all right. I tell you, this is um, oh, hot. Originally from um, Hawthorne, California. Very good. Yeah, 105 freeway. I'm mad at you. I, <laughs> hey, Santa, Santa Monica. Okay. Oh, I love Santa. I was like, Lisa, you're you're in Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh i was like that's funny um uh, we even have a canada on there guys so put wherever you're from in there it doesn't matter if you're from california um i i miss california i love the sun um all right so let's get into this let let's show one of these shirts guys we have 10 shirts albert tell us what this is the shirt of the day times 10 right now so I'm that, do one of these, I haven't done shirt of the day for today yet. I got to go shoot that. I wanted to come on Wade's Ventures first and then, uh, then do shirt of the day. So I'll grab one of these that we're going to go through right now to do shirt of the day later on today. So I'll shout you out to on there. That'll be fun. Um, okay. So I, I had originally gotten five. Way to hydrate. I originally got in five. You got to drink that water, bro. You got to do it. Um, I, dude, I, I, you can, guys, Albert, you can see me. I, I've been trying to drink more water. Um, I've been trying to kick this, Albert. Like, tell me, are you about energy drinks or no? Just water, sir, and coffee. <laughs> that's and why. Water. That's why you're you're nice and slender and looking healthy, huh? Hey, right on. I just don't eat. That's it. Just kidding. You know? No, I drink a lot of water. Uh, I drink when I'm thirsty. The concept of drink a lot of water is. I did a little research on that. I kind of like the other verse better that says, drink when you're thirsty and drink a lot when you're thirsty, you know, and then you'll flush whatever you don't need and keep what you do need. I used to drink a lot of energy drinks, a lot. I mean, I was all over them. And then maybe about, uh, February 2016 is when I said um, that no more soda. And then that included also the energy drinks. And um, since then, it's just been water. And I'll enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning. What if, has your energy gotten back? I took you probably, you know how I kind of got the energy? And in, in actually that same time, February 2016, I started walking every day that eventually turned into jogging, then eventually turned into running. And um, that kind of, instead of having the, the, the kind of the, the downfall or the crash of leaving energy drinks, now keep in mind, I still drink coffee, right? So that kind of that like compensated the no energy drinks, but I did lose the sugar. Um, but by doing the exercise, my kind of, I guess my body just automatically kept on saying, Hey, you need the energy. So we're going to keep on producing it. So that was it. And if ever I did feel a little sluggish, I'd go make another cup of coffee. Let, we only live once guys. We yeah. only live once another day in the books. We had an interview yesterday. We're having an interview today. We'll have an interview tomorrow. Days are passing by. 
we get one time to live unless you're like a super villain or superhero or something like that maybe or i don't know maybe you have the fountain of youth but for us normal people we only live once so take care of your body take care of your body yeah, fun fact, 150,000 people die every day. If you woke up today, you weren't one of those 150,000 persons. So congratulations. That's a little sneak peek right there of what we're going to do in just a little bit. So All right. A lot of water, especially if it's hot. So let's let's see these shirts. Let's, let's give them a little preview of shirts of the day. All right. So the hashtag is, if you want to go search the hashtag, I got about 130 something Mr. Shirts of the Day. So the hashtag is Mr. Shirt of the Day, MR Shirt of the Day. Um, that's also my handle at Mr. Albert Lopez. So kind of a play on words, right? Play on the whole Mr. thing. And um, it's, I do, like I said, I do a Shirt of the Day. I'm on a number 130 something. I did do 50 before I started counting them. It was close to 50, between 30 and 50. Um, I just kind of casually started doing them and then I just thought, Hey, you know what? I'm going to start numbering them. So I kind of know where I'm at just for fun. And then it was like, Hey, I'm actually counting them. And then consistency is king, which is pretty cool. And I was able to see it grow. I'm can't wait to get the 500, see what happens when I get there. You know, it still seems a long way. However, a hundred seemed a long way and I already passed it, which was pretty cool. And it's fun to do to display these shirts. Um, I got about, I think I got about maybe five t-shirts and some sweatshirts. Uh, a couple of things I want to point out is when I'm doing these, a lot of my merchandise is, is vintage and a lot of my merchandise is not, hence the name vintage and not. That's the name of my store. Um, a lot of the stuff is modern day, but looks vintage. Now I'm about the, the, the community that I'm creating, the community that I like to hang out with is the folks that just enjoy cool swag, you know, cool clothing, whether it's old, whether it's new, just expand your wardrobe a little bit. And don't dress in a way that's not you, you know, feel comfortable with it. Like if all of a sudden real bright flower t-shirts, it's vintage, I wouldn't wear it because that's just not me, right? And, but if it's like within, if you're, you know, let's say if you're like a, a, a three button polo kind of guy and all you do is you have, you know, you have your, your six polos that you always wear. Well, go out there and kind of explore the different kind of polos that are out there, older ones, uh, different patterns, different brands. Go um, and the whole re reuse kind of thing. If you're buying used, you're doing a, a benefit to the planet because it's not going to get thrown away or, you know, you get to grab it and reuse it again. You could be buying a two, three hundred dollar polo shirt for six bucks, seven bucks, whatever the price is in your area and include it now in your wardrobe. So that's kind of the vibe I'm trying to create right now. You have eight polo shirts and one of them is a real fancy smancy Louis Vuitton polo one, but you only paid nine bucks for it or whatever, 20 bucks if you got it online. So that's kind of the whole vibe I'm trying to create there with, with, other, with like people that enjoy looking at these shirts and like, Hey, kind of like a show and tell like, Ooh, I like that one. Or Ooh, I've had that one. I've had somebody say, I remember having those shirts as a kid. So that was a good feeling as well, too, you know, to bring back a little bit of old school childhood memories to somebody. You know, one of them, I had a baby shirt, like a small. And the guy was so excited. Cheers. The guy was so excited because he was able to buy an old T-shirt that he had when he was a kid and he bought it for his kid. You know, so it was the same graphic and everything it was really cool. So the first shirt that we're going to show today that hasn't been on, on Mr. Shirt of the Day and a way to tell that they're vintage, I guess you could say, or old, older, is sometimes they'll just have the date and you'll have the feel. This is Tour, tour of Minnesota. It's a bicycle one. I'll bring it close so you guys can check it out. I feel like I'm doing Shirt of the Day. So there you go. There's your graphic cyclist. If this was my size, I'd wear it. It's outdoorsy. It's on a bike. Um, I'm down with Minnesota, right? There's your tag. There's something about the tags. A lot of a lot of people that collect these that enjoy these. Me personally, a lot of my older shirts, I get a kick out of the tag. It's really cool to to just see that. Hey, this is really from the '90s, the '80s, or even early 2000s. I mean, if you think about it, it's already 2018. That 2000 is already old school. I hate to break it to you. You know what I mean? In a couple of years, 2000 will be vintage. Hello, I know how you feel because '94. I was like, what do you mean 94 is vintage? That, no, and that's just a little bit ago. I was like, no, sir, it's old school, right? So that's the first one. You got any questions on this for me, Wayne? Nope. I, I just say I just a couple of comments in chat. Albert has great mojo. Another one says, I've I love shirt of the day. Been watching for a while now. Oh, nice, cool. Uh, 
Very good, very good. Thank you, guys. Uh, I'm all, <clears throat> let's see, nothing in the back. That's a uh, personally to me, graphic in the front, graphic in the back is going to change the style of the shirt. You know, it, could, it it's totally different. I prefer a front graphic. I didn't in the past, so keep that in mind too. You know, what? How can you not like this shirt if I've seen him wear this shirt? Let's say you're gonna buy a a, a, a old shirt, a pre-owned shirt for a significant other and you always see him wearing like well use me for example you always see me using like different kinds of shirts and the graphics in the front and, and you notice that i like you know dog shirts and i like you know athletic shirts and bicycle shirts and outdoorsy shirts and all of a sudden you buy me a shirt and has the graphic in the back and you notice that hey albert's not wearing it that much as he does the other shirts what is it some people do like the graphic prefer the graphic in the front or prefer the graphic in the back crew neck v-neck shorter sleeves longer sleeves all that matters material that's huge so real quick uh Albert, I, I gotta shout out a couple people here so the frenchie the real stitch the real stitch um uh, thank you for popping in my youtube channel today it means so much albert i i have you on here i have so many other people on here huh? and it gives me nothing it gives me no more it gives me an amazing amount of pleasure to interview people that are just starting out on social media and then me being able, being able to pop in their YouTube live shows. So you're more than welcome, Frenchie. I think you're gonna do amazing. People love your personality. And I uh, highly recommend you go check out The Real Stitch's YouTube channel. And uh, I, I love your energy, your positivity, and uh, you're more than welcome. I love jumping in your guys' chats when you go live. It, 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 I don't know what how to explain it. It's just I feel like I had a, a part in that, so I appreciate it. And then uh, what's going on for another two dollar super chat? Um, yes. So screen uh, giant liquid blue dot com or blue dot money in tag. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe you can elaborate, but I appreciate your support. Um, I really do. Really appreciate your support. So let me know what that means. Maybe I can uh, shout it out. Um, all right, guys. So we have another question too, Albert. I have a Tommy Hilfiger jacket that does not have a date tag. The label is square, and I can't find a jacket like it online. How do I identify its vintage, and how do I figure out how to price it? So Tommy Hilfiger jacket that does not have the date on the tag. Okay. Uh, I really don't go on date. I mean, sometimes the, the tags, the tags are a big identifier. The, the big, big, um, uh, the, the simple way is obviously when you see, you know, 1980 or 1970 something, when you don't, best thing to do is to go online. I mean, there's just a tremendous amount of information. Just punch in that specific vintage Tommy Hilfiger tags or vintage, um, Tommy Hilfiger uh, labels, and it'll give you, it'll give you, definitely it'll give you, especially on such a high profile uh, brand, it'll give you um, images of what, and then if you click images too, it'll help out quite a bit, and it'll tell you whether it's an old one, an older one, or a newer one. Um, it could be a, a, a refabrication, you know, a rerun of a, of a vintage look in a modern day, with a modern day tag, so don't let that, there's also vintage look, you vintage hyphen look, where it's a modern day shirt, and in this case, we're talking about the Hilfiger shirt, could be a modern day one with that vintage feel. Um, folks that like to wear these, folks that buy these, uh, sometimes, well, a lot of the time, me being one of them, will purchase a modern, doesn't have to be vintage, could have the vintage look, and then just be a modern day one, you just want the look. Remember, it's the idea is to, to spread out and open your wardrobe a little bit and bring in some more style versus just the five, seven, 10 shirts that you have. There's a lot of good websites you can use. Um, Vintage Guild is one. Um, one thing that you can do too, uh, just like uh, Albert said, is you can go uh, Google the uh, the brands tag and then go to the images aspect of Google and kind of compare your tag with some other um, images that are within Google and then click it. It'll probably bring you to a website and you can read about it. Uh, but if you want to send it to me, I can see if uh, I can see and tell you kind of what I think about it. Um, if you just send me that, you know, picture of your tag and the item via Instagram and I can get somebody that knows if I don't know, I'm the first to tell you if I don't know guys. So, but you can send it to me. And one thing about me is I may probably 99.9% .9 of the time know somebody that knows. So send that over. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's see what number two of uh, the. Number two, 
that old school, but it is a little bit old school. And this one, we know the we know the age because it has the year, 1991. Budweiser fifth annual Hawaiian Islands police dog competition. Shout out to all my dog lovers out there. Put in the chat what kind of dog you have. Um, love my dogs. And then of course you have um, let me see, can, is that let me if I need to move this. Tell me if I need to move it the right way, because I'm no, like a little tiny. All right, so what you have there is, of course, a, a German Shepherd. It's a police dog camp competition. It's the fifth annual. So if they were on the fifth annual in the 91, and let's just say they kept it going, you know, what number would they be on today? Anybody who's a dog lover, um, if this would fit, it probably, I, mean, I swear, I think like maybe 99% of my inventory, if it would fit, it wouldn't be for sale because, you know, I just dig a lot of these shirts. I'd keep them for me. Uh, so this is pretty cool. This will this will definitely turn some heads. Imagine just going kind of like to a dog park and you have your German Shepherd and you're rocking this shirt. How many heads are you not gonna turn? You know, that's what that's what you kind of gotta think about. We're saying, what am I into? Well, I'm into cars, or I'm into I'm into um thrifting, or I'm into garage sailing, or I'm in, whatever you're into, kind of maybe get some t-shirts and, and some regular shirts or polo shirts or whatever that match your flavor match your style so you can again open up your wardrobe a little bit so some somebody's gonna want that and um do you do you like taking your pictures with a black backdrop or do you typically do it with the white backdrop white okay and yeah. we have by the way since you asked what uh, everybody had for uh dogs yes, man there's a lot of uh so i know just pat command my uh, admin has a pit bull i knew that um because he has a picture of one which oh yeah yes he does that pit bull is a beautiful pity he has on there yeah. on the <laughs> beautiful pity i like however i love it i love english labrador is another one nice um that's a pretty irish setter and we have a york and let's see what else do we got in here any, guess, any what any roddies out there uh, i don't know i haven't got one german shepherd Hey, there you go right here. Yes, you need that shirt, Rita. You need that shirt. If you uh, like this shirt for your for your wardrobe, go to my bio, go to my store, and just punch in German Shepherd. This shirt should come up, or punch in Police Dog or Hawaiian Islands. And and what was it? Was it Budweiser? Yeah, is this? I guess this event is sponsored by Budweiser. So that's kind of another thing, guys. Like I I preach that all the time, Albert is. Um, I'll sell Nike shirts with company logos all the time. Oh, cool. Like, all the time. And that's kind of, I, I know it's a little bit different, but people that like the beer and dogs, I mean, there's two different like pluses there with that shirt. Sure. Absolutely. You get the quality of a, you get the quality of a good quality brand and you also get to display whatever flavor you're into, whether it's even like a dog in this case, or, or if you're, you know, let's just say you're a, a, a Mac, you know, a lover. And or a Samsung lover, and it says Samsung on there. You get the best of both worlds. Uh, oh, we have another German Shepherd. Hey. They're beautiful dogs. Uh, let's see. Oh, I have a pit bull. Uh, <laughs> nice. they, they, I have a 16 year old blind, deaf, confused pit bull. Oh, bless her heart, and and the pooch's heart as well. Yes. <laughs> They're they're amazing. The bulls are some of the greatest the greatest dogs. I think they're come big misconception. They're very loving. They're very loyal. They're just awesome dogs. Oh yeah, I I can I can tell you love animals. Yeah 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 yeah. I really all do. right. Let let's 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 keep it going here. I want to show people some of this awesome finds. I by the way, guys, when you're out thrifting, kind of like he's explaining like what he's picking up and why people may like it. And that's what you kind of got to think about too, when you're picking up some of this stuff. So, Oh crud. I forgot. Um, real quick. Uh, so Stephanie said, wait, not sure if you saw my chat earlier, but thank you so much for the shout out or my mom resell remedy. Um, appreciate it so much. So long story short, Albert and, and everybody that's in chat, Resell Remedy is the amazing interview I had with the turtle. The turtle actually like went to the bathroom on 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 her like table as she was she was showing it to all of us. It was that amazing big turtle. Anyway, so she's having a lot of personal stuff going on in her family. I don't know if I'm I've only read it on her profile, so I'm not sure if I can say anything, but just just uh, show resell remedy some love. On Insta and or YouTube, guys, she's going through a lot. 
and that's her daughter in chat stephanie who's always in my live chat so i appreciate you i, I appreciate your mom i i like your mom dearly so i uh, i hope all the best for her so absolutely i mean everybody has their winters right the seasons have seven million years of recorded time the cycles of the winters summer springs falls they always go if she's going through a winter you just got to know that hopefully it's a short winter and springs around the corner everything will get better i i, that, I knew we had you on for some reason seriously i hey so I'm a, man i i'm a i like to think as like positive channel and you, I, I've been chasing you for a while, and I knew why I've been chasing you for a while. Oh, the positivity. Positivity. All right. Let's see what number three has. Let me guess. Nin I'm going to guess 1993 shirts. Oh, dang. I'm not even going to sift through it. 1995 is the next one. Oh, well, you have two choices. You got two choices. You could think of pos – no, 85. My bad. 85. Going back real quick to the choices of thinking, positivity, you have two options. You could, you could think of positive or you can think of negative. Whatever you think about was just going to be, get you more of it. So it's up to you. You make the choice, right? You're free to do whatever you want. That's old school right there. I mean, this is right here. It says, I'm lucky enough to where it does. It's 95. Wait, it said 1995. I know I said 85. I'm lucky enough to where it says 1995. I don't know if you could see that. This says... I'm going to bring it up close so you guys can see it. Shoot baskets, not bullets. Keep the peace, 1995. This is urban all over. This is hip-hop right here. This is anywhere you die. You know, you got the basketball. You got the kind of graffiti kind of writing. You got, you know, it's definitely a positive shirt, putting putting positive into shooting hoops versus shooting violence. But keep the, look, look the awesomeness of this shirt. Look at the the holes. Look at the, the, the just frailness on the edges. I mean... And it's just like, is that a bad thing? No way, not on a shirt like this. And, and put this up. Okay, this is a back black round. Put this Beast t-shirt right here with your shoes of choice. Jordans, Nikes, sandals, uh, Adidas, whatever it is that you want. Barefoot. I mean, if that's your thing, with cuffed up, if that's your thing, you know, more island style. With some black pants. Notice the black background. Look how that t-shirt just stands out. Show up to the picnic with this. Show up, go walk your dog out. Shout out to everybody with the dog out there. Go walk with your lady. Go walk with your kids. Go walk with your man, with your dog. At the park, by the basketball courts, rocking this T-shirt, black pants, and the shoes that I had mentioned a minute ago, whether it's barefoot or Jordans or chanclas, flip-flops. This is it right here. I mean, check that out. I mean, you're definitely going to turn heads with this T-shirt. Oh, but it's all ripped and it's all fresh. doesn't matter. It's the style that you bring to it. It's your swag. It's your energy. It's your vibe. And it'll look, it'll look dope. This is it right here. This is old school. I Okay, so a lot of people look at that. They know it old, but uh, it's old looking. But the holes and stuff, they wouldn't pick it up. What would you like? Like, I think like, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I would think like, what, 30 to 35 bucks for that shirt? all day long i mean am i wrong or how much would you sell for how much let me flip it around, let me flip it around for you let me let me change the, the 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 perspective on it how much would i pay for it if i was into basketball if i was into this urban thing if i want my my son's playing basketball my son's nine ten years old he's on the local basketball team or travel ball team they're all over the place they're hooping hard outdoor indoor it's hot how much would i pay for this shirt i'd easily pay a buck 20 for this shirt Send it to me. I want to wear this with some pants, with some, with some, like, they got the, the purple color with some green. I'd wear them with like some Aqua Jordans or something, or just black tennies and some shorts at the snack shack while your kid's on break, maybe the in between games and you walk over to the snack shack to buy your water and some, you know, maybe a burger or something. You realize how many bas basketball junkies are going to be looking at your shirt going, dang, that's not worth a buck 20. Come on, man. Yeah, that's Thank definitely. You. I, I'm way off on that. I think you, you know, it, it's it's what people will pay for it, and I think that I can definitely see somebody rocking that thing. Um, I would almost. I love basketball. The people don't know, but I used to play basketball in high school. Really? Uh, and so Krillin said, also look for single stitch versus dub. Uh, uh, is it a dub stitch sleeve? Am I saying that right? Yes, I love the stitching. Whether it's a double up stitching or a single stitching, of course. Yep. Yep um so i yeah i i think that's i sell a lot of stuff with holes in it as long as you put it in the ad because some people you know 
you just got to put in you got to put in the description guys of the conditions but um a lot of stuff sells i sell a lot of vintage stuff with holes people actually sometimes like it that way they like the worn look of holes right yeah that's what it is i mean and this is that like i said with with the with the culture that i'm creating the kind of the the, the folks that i'm that i'm trying to to just resonate with is yeah it's 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 okay to wear a shirt that has a hole in it oh okay so i'm gonna go get a scissors and put holes on my shirt right here well that's your thing but then again it goes back to what's your thing what's your vibe how do you roll what's your energy and match that with some clothes you know i kind of like that let me do some research i remember you know what back in high school you know it was that whole urban vibe every time i'd go play street ball everybody had some some cool music playing you know some wu-tang or whatever or some ice cube or whatever and i remember remember this remember that Tie that in with your swag. I call it tie that in with your with your gear. You know, so if you're out shopping for a t-shirt, um, pre-owned or not pre-owned or wherever it is you shop, whether you shop on eBay, whether you shop on on um, uh, at thrift stores or garage sales or whatever, you see a shirt like this, you know, and let's grab it and throw it on. And if it looks good, it looks good. I mean, if you're paying ten bucks, fifteen bucks for it, seven bucks, ninety nine cents, I don't know, whatever sale you go to or whatever. You put it on and like, hey, this feels good. And that's where you start cultivating and, and creating your wardrobe, your, your different shirts that you get to wear here and there. And and, and now you definitely have a one, one of a kind piece. So we have, um, so your your store is called Vintage or Not, right? Vintage and Not. Oh, and Not. Okay, cool, cool, guys. So Vintage <laughs> and Not, and if you guys want to go check out his store. Um, yep. All right, let's see what number. Let's see what number four is. All right, let's see. I'm gonna sift through it just a little bit to give you a little bit of change here. Let's see something kind of to throw you off a little bit. Like, okay, we saw some. This is just something that's like, I think it's pretty cool. It also has the date. It tells you right here since 1987 to 1995. So the present day, the present day is 1995. Right. They're kind of like bragging in this shirt that they've been in business since 87 to current day 95, 2018. Do the math. Right. Look at the label. I mean, that's just beast right there. You know, what, what, it's beast. It's a little square with nothing. Exactly. It's worn. So that's pretty cool right there. It's a sharp one million sharp washing machine products in the Philippines. Somebody's going to. Not only that, but there's there's always people. I sold Enterprise rental car shirts. Oh yeah, um, and they weren't even vintage. So it's like people like to buy companies um, logos and that stuff like that. Um, I forgot I forgot to tell you that last shirt, eighty five. I mean that was what going on thirty three years, right? Right. It was a correction though. It was actually ninety five. It was a correction. Oh, it was ninety five. Yeah, okay. Um, still, isn't that crazy? Like, oh man, time is flying. It never stops. It never stops. And the older you get, the faster it goes. I honestly, I've known that. Like all my full time resellers out out there, let me know if you're full time in chat because, like, or or you own your own business. Because I feel like, um, you know, when you own your own business or you're full time, like you're constantly doing, 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 and time passes by. Like like weeks pass by so quick. It's incredible. It is. It's interesting. It's interesting. The older you get, the time uh, goes by faster. If you're one day old, two days is your whole life. Mm -hmm. So compare that to you. Let's say, like, what are you're what, 25, 26? So if you're 25, 26 years old, live 25, 26 years again. That's kind of the whole comparison between when you're younger, the day seems so long. What do you mean my birthday's till another year? What do you mean not wait till Saturday? What? Because you're so young. You've been on the planet so little time. The older you get, they tell you, oh, I'm not going to go visit till one year. Oh, that's a snap. You'll be here in no time. It's like, whoa. <laughs> the older you get, the faster it goes. So that's this one. I mean, this is. I just think this is a cool shirt. Uh, going back to the example of create your wardrobe, personally, would I – would I want this in my collection? Probably not. Why? I'm not into washing machines. I like the tech stuff, you know, Samsung, Apple, all that good stuff. Um, one million bubbles camera. I don't know. It just it's just not me. I mean, I could I'm sure it'll fit my body or whatever. It's bigger, it has a big sharp logo in the back. But I'm trying to bring it to somebody. Let's say my wife works for Sharp. I go pick her up in something like this. I say, I work for Sharp. 
and they're going to have the company picnic in the springtime. I pick something up like this and I show up to the picnic. Again, I'm going to turn heads, topic uh, starter, conversation starter. You start building your network. It's just, or I'm a repair guy. I'm a repair guy and I go do house calls and I show up with something like this. I'd ask him, hey, where'd you get your shirt? Boom, conversation. We become friends. We follow each other on Instagram. I start referring him now because he's one heck of a guy and he fixed my appliance, you know, little things like those. Oh, yeah. We we do have a question. Are you scared to buy shirts without readable size tags? No, uh -uh, not at all. Every shirt has a measurement and you kind of could tell when you're after a while, you'll kind of know what's a large, what's a medium. Um, but even in older clothes, and when I mean older clothes, I mean washed once, you know, the, the moment you put it on, it's kind of like a car dealer, right? The moment you take the car out of the lot, it's used. That goes with, with all clothes. Um, you, you go w pick up a shirt at, at the mall or anywhere and it's brand new. You, you throw it on, it's used. You can't go sell it. You pop the tags and throw it on, it's used, right? That's it. The moment you washed it, oh man, it's even more used. So it's fine. However, well, the point I'm trying to make is once you wash it, a lot of these five, a lot of these um, these materials will obviously shrink or twist or expand depending on your skill skill level of laundering your your clothes. You know whether you hang dry it, whether you dry it on super hot. What kind of uh, fabric softener do you use? Do you use fabric softener? All that. So sizes it fluctuates. You know I'm a medium in some, I'm a large in another, and it fits the same way. More so even with the older shirts. Even, that much more, but even in modern day shirts, you'll throw on a shirt brand new. It's like, wow, this is a large, it fits me huge. I'm a small dude, right? So it fits me huge, you know, like, wow. Then I'll, in another brand, I'll throw on a large, hey, I'm growing, you know, this fits good. You know, it's just a different cut, I guess. So Albert said, um, uh, or excuse me, Adam said, Albert needs to start an ebook on positivity. Hey, right on. Just follow hey. me on Instagram. And by the way, I appreciate the, the super chat, Adam. I, I know exactly what coffee he drinks. He drinks organic when he's at eBay Open. Uh, but he's got a YouTube channel, I believe, and a cool Instagram, Adam. I appreciate you. You're you're an admin on uh, I think like fifty YouTube channels too, guys. So and I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if you're aware, um, but um, on the right hand side of um, guys, Adam. Adam you gotta cherish. You gotta cherish your 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 family. My mom's blowing me up right now in text messages. Nice. Uh, you, but that brings me to my thing: is you're so close to your dad, you gotta cherish your time with your parents. Seriously. Um, but anyways, guys, yeah. So you can right click on anybody's name in chat, and it'll take you right to their YouTube channel and or um, social media. So that's pretty cool. Check out Adam. Oh, if you don't mind, I'm going to jump on here, see if something happens. And this is going to show a little bit of pull for all my shout outs that I'm doing for my kids. If any one of you at Lindsay Starby's or at Cameron Lopez are watching, if you don't mind, come in here and give me a refill on my water. I would greatly appreciate it because I'm out of juice. Let's see if in here. <laughs> Nobody comes in. That means they're not watching. They got it on silent and are doing something else. Hopefully, if they're not watching, they're creating content. That's what I hope they're doing. Yes. Yes. Um. <laughs> They're not here. Yet. They could have been here. You know, they don't get on a golf cart to come to the, this part of the house. It's not, you know, it's. <laughs> there we go. You want to come in here real quick? Yeah. There we go. We got, oh my gosh, dude. You are, you are amazing. That is hilarious. That, that's a first on this show, guys. That's a first on this show. I'm getting water delivered to the, to the live stream. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? And then, and then, uh, and then I want to ask you some a few more questions, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll uh, cut this positivity not short, but I've got like five personal five reselling questions I want to ask Albert as well. Yeah, absolutely, I'm kind of keeping it. I'm kind of going through these. I'm gonna jump into a. I haven't done a jersey. There you go. I'll do a jersey, and then I'll do this too. This is kind of cool too. I sell a lot of jerseys. Yeah, jerseys are cool. Jerseys are cool. Uh, you got to shout out your team. Anybody out there, if your either your team is a contender for the playoffs in baseball or not, shout out your team in the in the chat. This is not a baseball jersey. This is a Miami Dolphins football jersey. 
it's uh this is really cool this is a cool piece this is a small this is a men's small it's a smaller piece right here but this is just unique in style um it has a real heavy 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 screen print they used to do that back in the day um and so heavy that it wouldn't fade or, or wash out no matter how many times that and um the person who, who who did it right here uh thank you appreciate it shout out to my son at cameron lopez one for bringing me to a mm. all right so <clears throat> excuse me so um oh yeah so it has the real heavy 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 um screen print uh, this ain't going nowhere. The shirt will probably deteriorate before this thick, heavy uh, paint. I mean, it almost feels like paint will start dissolving. Um, it's a V-neck. It has that big, big uh, jersey. I don't know if you remember these from back in the day. With the big sleeves, like, yeah. up to, like here, right? And um, what's interesting is you got all this heavy graphic in the front, but leave it to the old school to just keep the stripes in the back, but nothing in the back, right? But you do have that jersey cut. It has the stitching there. I don't know if you could catch that. It's all these little details that you enjoy and I enjoy bringing to people. Uh, it's not just the shirt. Let, let's get intimate with the shirt, you know, if you will use such a fancy word, right? You get in with the shirt like that and you're able to see like, wow, I didn't I didn't notice that the that the stitching is, is so heavy, you know, or I'm sorry, not the stitching, the uh, the graphic is so heavy and thick. I want, them, want my, my folks to really enjoy it. I didn't want to see that double stitch that they were talking about, you know, and I'll run through the double stitch, you know, so they could see what that is. Another cool, cool idea to also uh, keep in mind is made in the USA. When you see a tag that says made in the USA, you know, that also kind of tells you that it's good quality and it was probably made before we started having everything made outside the USA. Shout out to overseas for all you do. And, so um, in your ads, Albert, do you put like, do you try to, in the description, do you put like, okay, double stitching? Like, do you try to paint a picture for your buyer? That's what I do my Mr. Shirt of the Day for. No, I keep my ads pretty simple. Um, I try to bring as much as I can, as much detail as I can on the shirt with the pictures. Um, but really, it, it, I know that folks, when they're shopping on their phone, they're kind of, they, they, they want the meat of it. They want the meat of it. And the in hopes that they'll, if they're returning customers, they know that they'll go get the details over on Mr. Shirt of the Day. Or if they want a little bit more, you know, closer pictures, I'd be more than happy. But I really just want to give them kind of the meat of the shirt. And if, 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 if you like it in a simple form, you're going to love it when you see the details. Only because of, you know, if I give you too many pictures, you're not going to look at all of them. You know, you either like the shirt within the first two images, and you like the size, and the, 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 the price fits your budget, and you want to make it happen, win-win situation. I, um, I have a, a found love slash respect for vintage, for vintage clothing, but I love T-shirts. Um, and uh, people love that old. They people. Okay, so you've got you've got like for example, let's say you're 30 to 40. You've you've went through college or whatever you're doing. You're probably more established than you were in your 20s, but yet you still want to buy a lot of stuff from your childhood, right? So a lot of this vintage stuff is being picked up because people have money to spend and they want to buy a little bit of what they had when they were a kid. Right, right, right. Absolutely. And a lot of youngsters also enjoy wearing the, the old school clothes, you know, vintage has always existed, you know, and then it, it just, it, you know, since a long time ago, obviously. So, so every modern day likes to go back, whether it's the, the older modern day that wants to relive it or the younger modern day that wants to live something that they didn't live but they know the coolness behind it, the history behind it. Now with the internet, they even know more about it so they can get more into it. So it's really cool to, to be able to bring that to, to that culture, you know, that those, those folks that, that enjoy the, the older clothes mixed up with the modern day clothes. So, um, Jennifer, my, my, um, Poshmark closet's actually Wade's venture. Um, I have, um, 20, well, I have more, I have about 3000 items on eBay, but, um, unique items i have about 2400 but i only have a couple hundred on poshmark i'm trying to get all this stuff on ebay and then i'm gonna cross post to poshmark i'm doing a little bit but it's not a very big closet so but yeah it's uh wade's venture um and then uh we have a cardinals fan hey. oh man hopefully you're talking about well i don't know is cardinals baseball doing good i know the uh i know unfortunately the football team's not doing great mm. but uh yeah that I feel bad because they got a great running back. Um, all right. So 
I want to ask you a few questions here. Uh, I always ask all my, I always ask all my, um, uh, everybody that I have on here, these questions, but how has reselling changed your life? Well, like we said at the beginning, wait, it was one of those, it was a, a couple of things. One, it allowed me to, to, to switch, to switch my, my businesses and going from something that took my weekends to something that didn't take my weekends. So that was huge for me considering that my kids were doing things, uh, that involved the weekend. So being able to switch that was was huge for me back then, you know. And and now I am able to have more of a of a worldwide. Most of my business with my other my other companies was local, all local. And now I'm able to have worldwide customers, which is really cool because I get to I, I that just is it. I get to connect with people all around the planet, which is really neat. Now, is there in within reselling? Is there I like to ask this because, you know, when I first started, I found one cool person, which led to another. And I think that's why I have a passion for doing these interviews, because I can meet people that I really want to meet and then bring them on the channel. It's like perfect for me. That's awesome. Um, but tell me about you. Like, who are some, is there any other resellers either on Instagram or YouTube that you enjoy watching? Oh, man. Uh I think is Wade's Ventures, right? That's one of the dudes I enjoy watching. That cat, he's he's, he's great. He works hard. He works really really hard. And and it's interesting that once you once you start getting more familiar and start digging into into the internet and what you know commonly known as social media and stuff, you start realizing and respecting more of the work that goes behind putting together content. You know, because it's and maybe even if it's one of those things where like hey i'm gonna start creating videos yeah okay I'll, let me know when you get to video 500 you know so you know starting is easy let me know when you finish let me know when you got some momentum you know that's where so you see uh folks like you that that do a lot of uh, a lot of content it's like it's respect you know big time respect for all the the time that you put on there so you're one of them of course um that's i mean i've been when I first learned about this uh, a while back ago, uh, and I started researching, obviously, you know, I got my boy, um, Bonafide Hustler. You know, he's, he's I'm down with him. He's really cool. He used to, I think, he used to live here. I know it's, it's, he has some relatives that live down the way. Uh, that's one of them. Um, what was the other one, man? My goodness, you got me on that one. That's just the guy because I connect with him, you know, every now and again on Instagram. Uh, some of the guys that are not even on here no more, I used to watch quite a bit. Uh, the Crazy Picker Life, Wheeler and Dealer, I enjoy watching those two. It's a fam. It's father, son, and son, and son, and daughter, and a few more sons and daughters, so that's cool. Uh, I relate with that because of the business and personal relationship that I have with my wife and my two kids. You know, that conversations do have to do a lot with work and business and, you know, and, and making sure that you're spreading them both evenly across the board. So that's kind of cool. Well, I enjoy watching their vlogs as well. So what, what's in store for you for 2000, the rest of 2018 in regards to your business? Like what, uh, fourth quarters around the corner. Are you just like gearing up? Like, how are you getting ready for the busy season of the year? Hey, the busy season is all four seasons. You got to, and me, me personally, it's just, it's just continue to push and have a good time while you're doing it. If, If it ain't fun, I shouldn't be doing it. It has to be fun. Uh, I've got to wake up in the morning and enjoy it till you go to sleep. And the whole time there, it just needs to be fun and you need to be pushing. Yeah. No push harder certain other time. Just you, you want to stay in the middle. I'm a big believer of you got to stay in the middle. Don't get too up here. Don't get too down here. Just stay here. Consistency wins the race. I mean, you can't, you, you can't battle consistency. I mean, that's it. Even if you have money comes and has a big spike. Like I said, let me know when you get the 500 videos. If you're at full throttle, You'll you burn out. Guarantee you'll lose your purpose and you'll and you'll burn out. If you're too slow, you'll take forever. Stay in the middle with of close of course ebbs and flows because the seasons will come and you'll get to where you, wherever it is that you want to go. That's for sure. So I, I it's a really cool quote that I um, I don't know the exact quote, but um, I do a little bit of stocks and um, Warren Buffett said the stock market is a way to transact tra- transact money from the inpatient to the patient, which is kind of a cool thing if you think about it. Like, it, it's a way to, you know, the inpatient basically gives money to the patient. And I think that's that's a really cool, you know, concept that you kind of said too, is you gotta be, you gotta be the same ebb and flow, right? And uh, so you're at the same wavelength throughout your whole business, throughout the whole year. I think that's really cool. 
sure. I think that's uh, sure. I think that's 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 a good way of looking at it. Um, and because uh, I I gotta admit, like sometimes I just do a lot, and you do get burnt out. Um, and you gotta you gotta like reel it back, and then you know be ebb and flow, be in the middle. Be in the uh, middle. Use your purpose. That's what burnout is. There's, I don't think there's a, anything such such as as burnt out. The thing is that you lose your purpose. You know you don't want to do it anymore. Why? Because you don't have a purpose for it anymore. Because you just you 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 overdid it and you lost your reason for doing it. You know. So this is going to be a really my last question is going to be deep, and I, I think that you're going to do out of all my interviews, you're going to do one of the best. Um, you are literally going to do really good at this. I know you will. And guys. If you're watching this after the fact, um, down below I have both his YouTube channel, which he, he looks like you're doing daily now, right? For the shirt of the day, Albert. Yeah, recently, uh huh. And then also his Instagram link, so you guys can go subscribe to his Instagram. Um, there's there's a, a handful of Instagram accounts that I have to look at daily, and his is one of them. Hey, so, right on. Thanks, man. Yes, yeah, so let me let me get you up right here, actually. Okay, I know that guy. Is a majestic <laughs> size XL Dodgers T-shirt. Let's check out those graphics. What makes it very unique is that it has a distressed American flag graphic within the Dodgers logo. How do you put music with your Instagram? That's pretty good. To put you did just do a little bit of editing. Man, man, I hey guys. Seriously though, go check out his Instagram. But uh, my last question to you is: Is what we always leave all our shows on a positive note, and um, it could be reselling related, could be not really selling related, life related. We like to leave it on a positive note, and normally we don't get all these positive nuggets before the uh, the show is up. But for you, what can you leave the audience with with a positive note? Well, like that, you are gonna stump me. I don't know. Let's see. What 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 I think? You know. It's a, hey, this is it. This is, it comes down to this. If you woke up, be thankful. They're going to come a day. I guarantee you, I'm not a big guru on anything. I'm just the guy who enjoys, enjoys life. Right. But I'll tell you one thing, there's going to be a day when you don't wake up and there's nothing you could do about it. And there is going to be no tomorrow after that. So if you woke up today, smile and just be thankful to whoever you want to be thankful to yourself, your blankets, whatever, whatever you're, you got going on on here and what, you know, what, when, when you were raised, what, you know, traditions were kind of put, it doesn't matter. Just be thankful that you're on this planet. That's right there. That'll start off the day. Start off by putting one foot on the ground and say, thank. And when you put the other foot on the ground, say you, thank you to who, whoever, that's up to you, but just be thankful that you woke up and you got more than likely you'll have. It's very probable that you're going to have the next, the rest of the day to enjoy. Maybe not, but let's just say you do next day, do the same thing. You start off your day by being thankful. That's just a good start to the momentum of what the day is going to bring, whether it's going to be a summer, a winter, a fall or a spring. They all will come, by the way. I don't know. Was that good enough for you, Wade, or what? <laughs> I'm thinking like a mic drop would do, but I only have a remote. And I don't want to break it. Man, I I think that's amazing. Um, uh, just Pac-Man says, thanks for having Mr. Shirt of the Day on. Mr. Shirt of the Day. And, and uh, he's uh, he's actually a longtime viewer of yours, so I, I don't know if there's anybody that he doesn't view. He's, he's, he's pretty amazing. Although, he's uh, – guys – He's my he's my most amazing admin, but he's been on on a few other channels as an admin now. So really, he's working hard. He's working. Yeah, hard. He's, he's splitting his time. I thought I was the only one, Albert. I thought I was the only one. And there's enough of him to go around, baby. That's good. <laughs> um, I just want to say I appreciate you coming on. I uh, guys, make sure you hit that like button. I don't know where it's at. It's down there. I want more people to discover him. I want more people to uh, to reach out to him. I I truly mean this. There's no better way to have uh, for me to have this YouTube channel than to find people. Like sometimes what I'll do, I know this is crazy, but I'll go to YouTube, I'll type in eBay reseller, and then at the top I'll filter by views, and I'll find the really low view videos of people that are just starting their social media um, journey, and then I'll reach out to them, and sometimes I'll even message them via YouTube, and get them on here. Like 
And and for you, I don't know how I stumbled across to you on Instagram, but I, I'm really glad that you're able to come on here. And Skies, make sure you reach out to him. And if you have any vintage t-shirt and or vintage questions, I'm sure they can reach out to you, right, Al? Uh, Instagram? Yeah, I love, I love communicating with people. I love talking with people. You can post right underneath my post. I do post daily. I try to post as much as I can where I don't overdo your feed, but I'm in your feed, you know? And if you want to chime in and say what's up or, you know, have a question or you want to DM me a, a shirt that you found and, you know, shoot, maybe if it's my size and I like it, I'll pick it up. You know, that's that's kind of the whole thing to create this 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 group of people that just enjoy this this clothing, you know? Let's expand our wardrobe. I, th I think you're doing like not just selling shirts, but creating like a kind of atmosphere for people to like rediscover buying clothing, you know, because we're all kind of set in stone. And I've had this T-shirt for a very long time. I don't buy a lot of clothes for myself. So, yeah, no, that's the idea. And you got to repurpose this clothes, man. There's too much out there that a lot of folk don't want. And, and if you could just repurpose it, you help it. You help it from ending up, you know, in a pile somewhere. All right, Albert. Well, I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate everybody coming on. We have another show tomorrow, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the last one of the week. And, guys, thank you so much for joining and uh, being a part of the chat. Thank you so much for the super chats. Uh, Flipping, thank you so much. Um, Krillin, thank you so much, my man. And Just Pac-Man, thank you. Adam, thank you. So thank you for being part of this show. Hold on. Wait, before we go, we got to do one more thing here. Yes, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do a live. By the way, this is my uh, daughter's studio. In case you're wondering, but I'm gonna do a quick little for my story. We got to get live right here. <laughs> we're gonna do a real quick one. Okay, go ahead. Here we go. We got to hang out with Vage Venture for an interview this evening. Say what's up, Way. What is going on, guys? What is going on? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you for later on for Mister Shirt of the Day. Thank you to Wade's Venture and all his followers. And uh, shoot me a message here. All right. We, we have so many, so much love, and you guys. Give him some love. Give him some love in chat. Give him some hearts. He's a he's a he'll take those hearts. I'm even gonna put my arm around you on this one because we gotta take a selfie. There we go. Smile. You ready? Here we go. One, two, eight. There we go. <laughs> that that is a you're creating a lot of first on my show. There it's, you go. You gotta take advantage. You gotta take advantage. It's the modern day, it's the modern day um picture album if you're not taking pictures if you're not posting you're not leaving a legacy for how would how anybody out there how would you like to get like your great 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 and you could add how many great in there grand folk whether it's uncles or parents or whatever and be able to go to their social media and say like whoa that was my great 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 uncle or my great 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 and you can't because they didn't take any pictures they didn't have any pictures now we have this beautiful gift from the gods where we could post all these pictures and you know you leave all this legacy and they're able to go see what you were into whether it's taking strolls and feeding ducks you know with your with your babies or or, or walking down the block with your current dog i mean you know 20 years from now you'll be able to go remember you know fluffy or blackie or whatever your dog's name is if you put it on here and how many of us really who still messed with uh, photo albums, pull out the photo albums. You don't really, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, they took it out. This is neat. Now it's in the way. But yet, how many of you opened up your camera roll and checked out pictures that you took all week while you're standing in line at the grocery store? Most, or even at a red light, I hate to say it, but every time I'm driving, somebody next to me is on their phone whatever you know i hope they're posting content but that was it you know take advantage of the technology that we have and, and leave pictures for your for your future self and then also your future family members that love to see pictures of what the heck you were doing it'll just be fun that's um we'll leave one last thing the re one reason too that i wanted to that i wanted to do youtube is for all you guys but also god forbid if something happens to me or if nothing happens to me 20 years down the road my kids can see dad looking young with no wrinkles yet no gray hair talking to albert and so many other cool people so that's one reason why i did it that's exactly right yeah so all right guys that being said have a great night mic drop until tomorrow guys see you guys see you guys have a good one